Hey there. Uh, so this is my first video blogging experience for One Drop of Love. I decided to make some videos uh, to let you guys know what the process is. Hopefully by sharing this process, uh, you feel comfortable about creating your own work and telling your own stories um, because I think that we need more storytellers in the world and more variety in stories. So I hope to encourage you to, um, to know that this is possible for you to do. It takes a lot of hard work, but it's worth it. Uh, so I decided I would do a what's in my bag video because a lot of the videos on YouTube do what's in my bag and since I'm packing up for my trip to Stanford University I'm gonna go and perform there for um, Dr. Michelle Elam students tomorrow I thought I'd tell you what I pack in my one drop of love bag these are always with me I can do the show pretty much anywhere, but I definitely need to have these things with me. So the first thing that I always have is my clipboard. Um, if you haven't seen the show yet, you don't know that during the show I play a census worker who goes around and counts the racial demographics of the people in the audience. And so I use this clipboard and yes, I'll admit it that my census worker lines are written on the clipboard. Uh, she says a lot and, um, and so I do need this while I'm uh, walking around and pointing people out in the audience. So I always have this little clipboard. Next, I've got my iPhone. I use this phone to call my dad a couple of times during the show and this is the original iPhone and I always kept it because I thought someday that's going to be a collector's item um, but it has a lot of meaning to me because of that just it feels kind of like an archived piece of history and since the show talks so much about history it's really nice to use this during the show so I've always got that with me in my bag Next, I'm not going to take this out of the plastic bag right now. This is my copy of Fanchon, the book Fanchon. Um, in the play, I explain the meaning of my name and why my parents chose this name for me. And I read from the introduction of the book. Uh, this copy is getting pretty old, but it still does the job. And actually, I really appreciate, just like with the iPhone and this even more so, um, the kind of old quality and the the uh, I feel like there's a spirit inside of this book and so every time I open it I feel like I'm taken back to the eras and the periods that I talk about in the play uh, so that's always with me uh, almost finished here a laptop and this laptop has my PowerPoint on it uh, the PowerPoint presentation is really really important it's a multimedia show so you'll see um, animation you'll see still photographs and video and music um, and I it's really great that I just take everything load it onto this computer and it's ready to go when I get to the theater um, I do have the PowerPoint backed up in two places on a portable hard drive and also um, on Dropbox just in case anything happens and then finally the last thing that I take with me uh, into tech rehearsals to prepare to do the show in every new stage is this little VGA cable and this was really important for me to learn about because I've gone to a couple places that didn't have the VGA cable like the World Fellowship Center this summer and fortunately they went out and got one uh, for us but this is what connects the computer to the projector and some theaters will have it and some theaters won't so I always have that with me so that's everything I take with me in my bag. I am so excited to go and perform the show for more students. Those tend to be my favorite audiences because we have really get great conversations afterwards. Um, and uh, please check below. I'm going to write the dates 
upcoming dates. We're coming to Atlanta, uh, September 21st, and we'll be in Mesa in uh, end of October and November, and in Tampa early November. And I'll also be at the Critical Mixed Race Studies Conference this year, November 13th through 15th. So I really hope to meet you there, and I really hope you enjoy the show. The website is www.onedropoflove.org. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.